Hello everyone, welcome to an update to the Affinity Linux installer. Now, the update is that I got settings to work. Yay! But we had to add a new dependency uh, to make this happen. First things first, I'm going to uninstall everything. And once that's done, we're going to click the one click full setup. Just like this. Okay. Now, this is going to handle everything. And before we start anything, let's go over some stuff. This is fully tested on Fedora, Nabora, Pico OS, Debian 13, Debian 12, um, Arch Linux, Endeavor, and Cache OS. There you go. There are some minor issues where sometimes .NET 3.5 will literally last forever for some reason. There's also some issues for some users where .NET 4.8 will also last literally forever and never finish installing. And that is annoying. See this, this X button? Yeah, that's that, that cancels the current operation. Okay? Someone went and made a massive pull request to overhaul this thing. It's pretty cool. I still need to change it so when you pull down the installer, uh, it brings the icons with them because, well, they're really nifty and they make things look nice. Now, I have never, ever once encountered the fact that .NET 4.5, 4.8, or 3.5 have ever paused forever on me. I don't know where that comes from or why that happens. It's not something I can fix. That is a wine tricks issue. Okay. You need to understand that. That is a wine tricks issue. So, as you can see, there's .NET 4.8 currently installing. And uh, I'm going to pause this and we'll be right back after the wine tricks is done, okay? All right. I think this is a perfect time to come back. Uh, wine tricks seems to be finishing here. It's just got like, yeah, one thing left to go. <laughs> All right. So the next part of this setup, pretty much after it's dealing with that one font and setting the uh, everything else, we're just going to hit yes, yes, okay. So that's going to automatically download the newest version of Wine Affinity. Not Wine Affinity, sorry. Uh, Affinity Suit, you know, Affinity version 3. We're going to install. And the installation is done that quick. Good. Unlike Adobe, which takes about like three to four minutes for some reason. I don't know. I guess they just don't know how to make a, uh, a very good application anymore. So it's going to install the web view to runtime. This is required for the help page to render. So uh, it it's kind of important. And it's going to it's going to install a specialized version of it. Yeah, so setting up the windows 11 compatibility and everything has been successfully installed now what's new is the affinity patcher okay it patches a specific ddl to be able to save settings so now when we go and open this hopefully it opens perfect good 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 we're able to go into preferences or settings, go to user interface, and I like to use this one the most. And I close it out. And I open it back up. And guess what? Lo and behold, the settings have saved. That's right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, a user came up with this fix from another GitHub and... I just implemented an auto patching utility for it, so this ends up being a thing. Anyway, as always, uh, thank you for watching the video. You know, leave your comments below in the comments section. Uh, subscribe, like the video, all of that helps. If you appreciate the constant development on the Affinity GUI script, uh, feel free to donate. You'll find uh, abilities to do so in the description as well uh, as the GitHub you know, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.